Well, Phil, we're about to launch 1866 Sport. How does it feel to have been chosen to lead the commentary on the Spyrites? Very honoured, uh, Chesterfield are uh, my club and have been for an awful long time and I've been fortunate enough over the years to do just about everything you can think of, whether it's written with the likes of uh, the Star, the now Long Gone Green and the Derbyshire Times or from my first radio broadcast which were on Haiti Radio, it was called Hospital Radio, also through Harlem FM and BBC Radio Sheffield and, and others. So. It's my club, I, I, I want to uh, be associated with it as much as I possibly could, so I was very, very pleased and honoured to be uh, asked to, to get involved. And what can we expect on the commentary this season? Well, hopefully a lot of winning games, that'll be uh, really good and some great excitement, a few uh, uh, Danny Rowe Thunderbolts, but uh, you know, hopefully we'll be having expert summarisers every week for away matches, maybe looking to try and get ex spyrites who live in that neck of the woods or perhaps a player who's not involved in the, the day and at home as well getting former Chesterfield players to, to join me to see a different perspective of the match from a, a professional's point of view. You know, when you've when you've had a life in professional football you see things a little bit differently to normal supporters like ourselves and, and spot things because that's your trade, that's what you've been training. So we'll be hoping to uh, have a good build up for each of the, the games with interviews with the manager and players and everything along those lines and then bring uninterrupted action of all of the matches home and away Saturday and Tuesdays throughout the season and a season that we're all really looking forward to. James Rowe has brought together a fantastic squad and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. We saw the second half of last season just what sort of things that we can expect so I'm really really hoping for a crackerjack of a season. And of course, after being involved for, for many years with the Spyrites and uh, doing lots of different work behind the scenes on, on the media front, to actually see the club have its own in-house radio station, uh, but that's something you probably never thought you'd see. Well, of course, the technology's moved on in, in such a pace over the last few years so to be able to do this thing is terrific I, I would have never expected anything along those lines of course there used to be the subscription service back in the football league days but you had to pay for that this is a free service so uh, really delighted to be able to bring that to people who can't get to the match home or away you know, if they're if they're not able to travel and you know the the, the stream uh, of games last season during the corona virus just showed how important coverage of games were and they were received well and hopefully the uh, uh, radio coverage will be received just as well this season. We all eagerly await the start of a new season but uh, even more anticipation the fact that we'll be live for that very first game away at Aldershot Town. <laughs> yes, it's uh, a long way to go isn't it and uh, I'm sure there'll be quite a few Chesterfield supporters go down there. I really think there'll be quite a few travel but there'll be an awful lot that don't so you know, I, I can't wait really for, uh, for Aldershot. I've, I've been there more times than I care to remember. They've had press boxes on both sides of the ground while I've been there and you know we're looking at using technology that doesn't rely too much on uh, uh, anything that clubs can provide. It's, it's very much self-contained, so hopefully, even if the electricity doesn't work, if uh, there's not much of a signal here and there, we'll still be good to go.